July 2nd, my birthday. As I stir awake, the scents of early morning air and a crisp northern breeze bring life back into my tired eyes. The year has been a roller coaster of excitement, determination, stress, and anxiety. But huddled in my sleeping bag overlooking the lake, those feelings and the thoughts accompanying them are far away. In the mornings, I often feel pressured to wake up and move as if my inner clock is ticking extra loudly to ensure I get the message that I don't have time for everything. This morning, I hit snooze on that clock and let the cool breeze and the sounds of loons fill my attention. Each day up in the northern woods, away from my usual thought patterns and actions, feels like I'm finally unwinding all the tight-knit thoughts in my brain. With each twist, I can feel the intensity release from thoughts, making room for fresh ideas. It even feels like my face is naturally more relaxed. My continuous battle to find the famed work-life balance has not yet been won, and many days I am left burnt out. One of the tricky things about burnout is sometimes you don't realize how low the fire is until you take a step away from the flame to look at it. Burnout can go on and on, and you get used to working with what you have. Balance can be an elusive target when you own your own business. My passion for work and my inner perfectionist often and easily overload my plate with worthy but time-consuming tasks. It is my goal this year to follow the voices that guide me back to the woods, the people I love, and the activities I enjoy just for the act of doing them. Being back up north at my aunt and uncle's cabin opens up a flow of memories. When I was in high school, my family and I would take camping trips nearby in Voyager's National Park. We would pack all our gear and ourselves into our fishing boat and ride at least 30 minutes up the lake to our remote island campsite. These summer trips were some of the best memories I have with my family. We were all in nature and somehow my sister and brother and I always got along. (laughs) We spent so many hours fishing together, sometimes talking and sometimes just existing with our own thoughts. There were fish fries and bonfires and billions of lightning bugs. It feels so good to be up here again, revisiting memories of the past and creating new ones.
These moments on the water feel meditative. One of the reasons I fell in love with nature is that my body, breath, and mind slow down and are able to relax. It happens automatically. It's not a conscious feeling like the need to go for a walk to clear my mind. It just happens as I let go and give in to my senses, becoming a part of nature and all the beauty around me. The closer I am to that feeling, the more peace, joy, passion, and fulfillment I feel. While in the past I have unintentionally let stress take over my life, I'm ready to commit to nurturing and building my inner flame, inspired by passion, in the hopes to live a more full and fulfilled life. At the end of my birthday adventure, I drove my very much work in progress old camper van back home and Justin joined me for the last bit. We parked him on the bluffs in the river valley. I sat inside and journaled in the golden light while watching the wildflowers and the birds fly around the bluffs and suddenly I noticed this stunning rainbow appear. For a moment, it felt like time stopped and I was the only one witnessing this incredible moment. Soon the clouds drifted away and so did the rainbow, but there was still a gorgeous golden light. And that evening, the full moon rose above the bluffs, and I watched it till the sky turned dark. I've decided that I'm going to start adding a little drawing at the end of every video that shows some of the highlights that I really enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful week.